Oftentimes, life doesn't promise the picture we paint in our minds. But Boyd Hooper found what happened in a small town in far southwestern Minnesota reminds us the palette is always there, and beauty can be born of the most difficult situations. Mountain Lake, Minnesota is displaying its colors, old and new. It's therapeutic. 13 years ago, Kyle Fast left high school with classic small town teen dreams. Yeah, graduate and get out of here. College and a good job in the Twin Cities followed before his dreams careened. I was living in Minneapolis when, when COVID first hit. COVID layoffs cost Kyle his job. Then COVID bad got worse. Yep, that was pre-vaccine. Kyle's dad, Kurt, healthy and 58 years old, went from positive test to downward spiral. He was out of it for, for most of it. Kurt's family clenched his hand while Mountain Lake had his back. The message at the hardware store, the prayer service in front of his home, and the sign the mayor added to the cross in Kurt's yard, which didn't bring the conclusion for which everyone had prayed. Yeah. Kyle took stock of his loss and started painting. This is the very first one. Kyle completed a mural reflecting his dad's deep feelings for his hometown. Yeah, yeah. Kyle's dad, the handyman carpenter with an artist's touch, who'd worked in buildings up and down Main Street and in homes all over town. That's Kurt at one of his final projects, re-roofing this building at Mountain Lakes Heritage Village, where he'd served as a volunteer member of the board and a fixer-upper of nearly every structure, including the granary, where a car often pulled up right there while Kurt lay in the hospital. I would just sit there and pray for the best for him. Sue Garloff is president. Every day I would go out there every day. Of the Mountain Lake Chamber of Commerce. I don't think I'm the only one that did that. I think there was a lot of people that did that. It just showed um, when you really love a community like my dad did, how many people felt that. Kyle began feeling it too. This was the second one that I did. Which is why the young man who'd left for greener pastures. Third one. Decided the sun shined brightest back where he was rooted. Anything else that's going on here? Mayor Mike Nelson asked Kyle to join the beautification committee. Yeah, that works. And soon, with help from his brother, Kyle was designing the history themed banners that now decorate Main Street, followed by the t-shirts for sale beneath them. And more painting. When I have, you know, a similar type of legacy where people feel loved and cared for by me. The big city was fine. But now, like his father before him, color Kyle fast, home. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Mountain Lake. Kyle told Boyd he took his last art class in seventh grade, but that hasn't deterred him. And look at what he was up to today. Kyle freshened up a sunflower he first painted last year in an intersection in downtown Mountain Lake. This weekend, he'll roll across that same sunflower. Mountain Lake has selected Kyle as Grand Marshal of its annual summer festival parade. Beautiful in so many ways. What mm. an artist, too. Yeah. Ooh, his dad would be so proud. What a beautiful so town, too. That's great. Yeah, I mean, that's in tribute to his dad, like making yep. the town even more pretty, you know, and just uh, beautifying it.